Listen to better music and listen to music better. Welcome to True Tunes at 45 RPM, the short form version of the ongoing conversation you'll hear on the True Tunes podcast and in the digital pages at truetunes.com. And now your host, John J. Thompson. Welcome to the debut episode of True Tunes at 45 RPM. That's the speed 7-inch record spin at, and if you know anything about 45s, they always end too soon. This show will bring you the same spirit, soul, and energy of the long-form True Tunes podcast, but in a shorter format. We hope that these brief episodes, which we plan to drop weekly, might reach more people and pull some newcomers into what we believe is a valuable conversation. Sometimes these 45 RPM shows will feature clips or outtakes from previous episodes. Other times they will bring you a bit of conversations from the vault that no one has ever heard. Other shows will feature clips of interviews I have done over the years that we have not yet found space for on the main show. And in some cases, I might talk with someone exclusively for this format. Other times you might just get me by myself pulling out my soapbox or highlighting a song that has meant a lot to us. Basically, you just don't know what you might hear, but this show will only be about the length of an old school 7-inch 45, so you should be able to listen to the whole thing while you're getting ready for work, driving to the office, walking between classes, or chilling at the end of the day. kick things off, we are celebrating the long-anticipated public release of Terry Scott Taylor's This Beautiful Mystery, which is now available at terryscotttaylor.bandcamp.com and all digital platforms. Two of our most popular shows of 2021 featured a long and wonderful conversation with Taylor, an artist that, for my money, should be a household name amongst fans of classic pop, rock, and Americana music. So, For the 45 today, we thought we'd go way back to Bruce A. Brown's 1981 Alarma radio special to hear Terry 40 years ago, with a little coda at the end from our recent conversation. We might go a little longer on this episode than the show's normal time constraints between all this setup and the two interview clips, but since this beautiful mystery may be our consensus album of the year this year, well, deal with it. So, first, a bit of Bruce's conversation with Terry Scott Taylor from 1981. I love Lewis's Narnia Chronicles because there's there's not this blatant, it's not a blatant theological work, but he deals in in the in myths, and yet conveys in a very strong uh, sense the Christian message and who Christ is. I cried reading Narnia Chronicles. I was touched deeply. I cheered when I read the Chronicles. In the subtlety was power. And so I think I want to try and and do the same thing lyrically. The first fruits of Terry's interest in this approach to writing appear in the Alarm album in the form of a short novel. 
well, it's actually the first three or four chapters of a continuing chronicle uh, that will appear in the next three albums that complete the Alarma Chronicles. And it's sort of a, a fantasy story, much in the vein uh, of C.S. Lewis and George MacDonald and that sort of thing. And it's a, it's a little story which really adds enlightenment to the total concept of the album. I just would hope that everyone who, who sees the album will take the time to find out what is the underlying message. So you're really ad admonishing Christians in this album to bring their intellectual powers into focus as well as just having a spiritual experience. I believe that these are God-given capacities. and It's a challenge to exercise the powers of the mind. We just hope that this makes it personal to those that like to listen to music. And there's an entertainment aspect involved, but I believe it's a, it's a serious work and uh, will cause people to begin to really listen to what the Lord has to say to the church today. And now, here's a clip from my conversation with Terry just a few months ago. As you go back and listen to this collection as, uh, you know, this this 21-song batch, do you kind of recognize a personality to this album yet? And, and if so, how did you describe it? What do you... There's another layer here in regard to um, sort of coming full circle my thoughts about the entirety of the of the project are pretty simple, which is I want to immerse the listener into this world. And what I mean by that is that because attention spans uh, with music nowadays are so short, I felt that for people that are up to it and want to have a complete experience, I really want to go deep, as we used to do into an artist's work where you would buy an album and you just read the liner notes and you looked at the artwork and the photos and you read the lyrics and you played it over and over again and it just you were immersed in it I think with my fans people will be attentive to it will really get into the experience of it and experience this world that I've tried to create and that it will um, bring them joy it will challenge them it will comfort them and that it's an offering, it's a gift of grace to them. And because they are a gift of grace to me. I have this, this, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, lose it here. These people, and you are among them, have, uh, have so uh, touched me in profound ways with the graciousness that people have, the, the encouragement that people give me, the validation couldn't do what I do without it. I don't just say those words, I truly live it. I think that's at the heart of what motivated me, to give these people a gift, something beautiful, something, something beautiful. I'm not searching for proofs now. You're down deep in the dead. you have not heard the entire two-episode career-spanning conversation with Terry Scott Taylor, it's waiting for you. Although I loved all the positive feedback from Terry's fans, I think my favorite comments were from people who were not familiar with this incredible artist at all, but immediately became fans. 
back then, this beautiful mystery was only available to those who backed its creation on Kickstarter. Now it's out there for everyone to enjoy. Oh, and I was sent a CD copy, and wow. I don't listen to CDs much anymore, but this album is worth playing on your best available system. It sounds incredible. We're hoping these short-form true tunes at 45 RPM shows will become a weekly staple of your listening diet. Next time, we will feature an extension of the recent Bruce Coburn jukebox with our friend, singer-songwriter Chris Taylor, and some conversation about a couple of Coburn songs that we had to cut from the main show. In the coming weeks, we'll talk about love songs. We'll hang out with the prayer chain backstage at a show in L.A. We'll visit with a new friend from Berlin, and we'll hear from our longtime in-house arts chaplain, Steve Scott, and more. But that's all the time we have today. The Run Out Groove is upon us. If you dig the show, please subscribe. Also, please leave us a review and a rating at Apple Podcasts. Make sure to subscribe to our email list at truetunes.com. Speaking of which, I've got a CD copy of this beautiful mystery to send to one of you, but you have to be subscribed to the email list to find out how to win it. Follow us on Facebook at True Tunes Now and find me on Twitter at John J. Thompson and on Instagram at the only JJT and at True Tunes Music. You can also support this show through our patreon.com slash true tunes community or via a one-time tip linked in the show notes page we also have a new merch store at truetunes.threadless.com please tell your friends about the show post it on your socials and let us know what you think thanks true tunes at 45 rpm is produced by john j thompson and bruce a brown for gyroscope productions and is intended for the private use of our listening audience the contents are protected by u.s copyright law and are the intellectual property of gyroscope productions with the exception of songs or clips that are from previously copywritten materials. Everything on this episode is used by permission or under fair use provisions. Thanks for listening. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.